We are ready. We've got about one minute left. And, um, you know, I was just um, wanting to speak to, tonight also about, um, you know, stress and, and low oxygen levels and, and pain levels of people because I'm actually, see, I'm actually seeing and finding it worse than last year. People are really, really struggling right now. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very crucial time. Yeah. There's big, giant problems here. This I mean, we had a the stress, the tension. Now we're mm -hmm. starting to recognize that we just don't know who to trust. We don't know what's going on. No, we don't. And we said we had a blood pressure of 176 over 122 last Sunday at a, at a health pharmacy. I know how this guy's functioning, but we've got it down. We know we're right down to 145 over 100, and that's in four days. Good. Okay. So, and he tells me he's sleeping like a baby. So, in any case, you know, I mean, the body doesn't lie. And, you know, we're going to be speaking about that today and speaking about um, nutritional deficiencies. And that's that. Daisy and Rita are going to really focus on, on that aspect because I think every disease can be related to a de deficiency in one form or another. It can be even a trace mineral. Um, and then I'll go on and speak a bit about um, the, 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 the conditions that I'm seeing the most. And that's high stress levels, low oxygen levels, basically hypoxic levels enhanced by the mask and then high pain levels and let's just also sort of slice through this pain and, and see what's underneath that from an emotional neurological and also spiritual point of view because there's always is and we'll explain all of that too and look at some solutions to to stimulating oxygen and this has got some products as well and andres has got some products and um I think that we've got a really great, really great lineup for you guys tonight. So thank you for joining us, everyone. I see you're, you're all filtering through, and that's just amazing, especially midweek. And we're also getting used to the midweek story. So it gives us a bit of free time on the weekend anyway. So let's, let's begin, Desi. I don't want to keep you and Rita. Okay. And um, over to you. Okay. Well, we were talking about... Thank uh, you talking about nutritional deficiencies and the biggest nutrient like you, like you were saying is air uh, it isn't oxygen because oxygen is part of air because if we just get oxygen we'll get sick so with oxygen air this is a nutrient that we get deficient once a minute <laughs> or more or for example sunshine is, is something what people need on a daily basis sunlight, natural light, social effect. So we, uh, there's a whole bunch of nutritional deficiencies that come into play. And it, it isn't just food. Now, but I'm going to start off with a couple of videos here. And one of the key ones is that we need amino acids. We really don't need protein. What we need is amino acids. So this is the first video that I sent you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. Hello, this is Professor Madison. Hello, this is Professor Madison. Who left America to find freedom. We no longer a man. Today I present to you. Everybody screams about protein, protein, protein. But you're not deficient in protein. You are deficient in amino acids. Almost the entire body is made out of amino acids. Why we need amino acids, you see, these are the building blocks of the body. Besides building cells repairing tissue, they form antibodies, combat invading bacteria, viruses, enzymes, hormone systems, nucleoprotein. They carry oxygen, participate in muscle activity. They do so much in the body. When it comes to protein digestion, uh, you eat steak, as depicted here, um, or any form of other protein. Proteolytic enzymes uh, in your digestive tract will break that down into amino acids and oligopeptides. Now, oligopeptides basically mean much, much shorter chains of proteins. Um, we're talking like three, maybe four amino acids in length as opposed to a protein, which it can be many, many, many amino acids in length. 
When protein is broken down by your digestion, the result is 22 known amino acids. These are the building blocks of the protein. Amino acids are vital to health. Next to water, amino acids in the form of proteins make up the greatest portion of the body. They compromise tendons, muscles, hair, ligaments, organs, nails, body fluids. They're a very necessary part of the body. Digestion breaks up the proteins. It breaks it down to, into those individual amino acids and then really short chains. And those can then be transported through the intestinal wall um, within the intestinal wall as well, um, they are broken down potentially a little bit further um, into tripeptides and dipeptides, so chains that are only two or three amino acids long. Those are then transported into your bloodstream and then can be taken to wherever they are needed. There are five reasons for an amino acid deficiency. Poor diet, leaky gut malabsorption, low stomach acid, blood sugar imbalance, adrenal fatigue. These are the reasons for an amino acid deficiency. Now, what this does is, gives you signs and symptoms. Anxiety or depression. Poor recovery of injury. Constant muscle pain. Brittle nails. nails. Digestive issues. Inability to focus. Constantly fatigued. These and more are the signs of an amino acid deficiency. And also to adrenal weakness. The gorilla has an identical digestive system to the human doesn't eat meat. He has 1% protein in his diet. Just like a baby, baby's uh, perfect food, mother's milk, is only 1% protein. And they can still build up big, gigantic muscle size. There are over 20 amino acids separated into two categories, essential and non-essential. Essential amino acids are those that cannot be manufactured by your body hands. It is essential that you obtain them from your diet. Non-essential amino acids can be manufactured by your body. However, your body must have the right combination of essential amino acids and supporting nutrients to optimize healthy protein levels so supplementation may be desired. The time of your life where you grow the most is year one. You can double or triple your size and weight. The perfect food is mother's milk. 1% protein, but rich in amino acids. You see, because what we really need is the amino acids, the building blocks of life. The 20 amino acids are needed for various proteins and growth and repair, and the maintenance of body tissues. 11 of these amino acids can be made by the body, while the other ones are essential. They must come from the diet. The essential ones are isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, thuringine, and these are the essential ones. Also, histidine. It's a semi-essential one, because the body sometimes needs it. Now, if we look at the digestive system, we break up protein into amino acids. That's how our bodies work. Our bodies work by breaking up the protein into the amino acids. The non-essential amino acids are arginine, alanine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamine, glutamic acid, glycine, proline, serine, tyrosine. Other ones, carnitine, can be used. And these are not essential. Sometimes the body can make these. Amino acids are the building blocks of our bodies. The three most important mm -hmm. are right here. So I'm going to build these for you. So leucine, arginine, and glutamine. Guess what? They spell out lag. So you can remember, because if you're lagging, it means you need more of these, right? Okay. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about branch chain amino acids, okay? A lot of times people take them uh, to think that they're going to build muscle, and that is a total myth. There are actually no human studies that show that taking branch amino acids, either in a powder form or a pill form, will increase muscle synthesis or muscle building. Lag, that means you need more protein, more amino acids. We find these in eggs. Eggs are wonderful things. They're, they're building blocks. Low-fat dairy, milk, cheese, and yogurt, but even animal protein, shrimp, meat, fish, and you know what? The hero here is turkey. Turkey is very good. If we look on the list of essential amino acids, we're going to see eggs coming up an awful lot. And we're also going to see that if we want to be vegetarian and eat vegetables, we don't see any one vegetable coming up for all of these. Now let's take a look at the egg, and we're going to see that eggs are rich in albumin. 
broken up into different amino acids, but it's very essential. It helps you live longer. It helps you recover from surgery and minimizes the risk of surgery. And when we get to vegetables, we're going to see lentils and pumpkin seeds have the isoleucine. So if we get a little bit of these blended in with the other vegetables, we can then get the proper amount of amino acids. We can get the complete amino acids, vegan amino acids, by looking at these simple little rules and using them and getting the amino acids we need. Turkey has a lot of arginine and also a lot of stuff that helps us with sleep, which we'll talk about next. Yes. <laughs> but if you're a vegetarian, you find these amino acids in soybeans and lentils and other legumes. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get a lot of these during the day, hopefully at each meal to okay. prevent lag. Okay. Who is likely to be deficient in amino acids? Dieters, some strict vegetarian bodybuilders, fasting people, and anyone consuming an inadequate number of calories may not be consuming adequate amounts of amino acids. That can lead to healthcare issues. In these cases, the body will break down the protein in muscle tissue. The first thing it breaks down is bad tissue, so don't worry. And use those amino acids to meet the needs of more important organs. Intermittent fasting can be very, very successful. Or we we'll simply not build more muscle mass despite increasing exercise. When it comes to the wherever they are needed bit, um, we need to talk about the amino acid pool. In your bloodstream, there is always a certain pool of amino acids that are basically, they can be used for, for emergency stuffs. Um, if your body ever needs amino acids and it doesn't have any protein available, it will take them out of the amino acid pool. From the amino acid pool, um, pr amino acids can be used for muscle synthesis uh, or muscle protein breakdown. They can be used in a process called transamination. We're going to cover that in just a sec. Um, they can synthesize other nitrogen containing compounds, so things like your, your skin, your nails, your hair, um, other structural components, or they can be excreted if your body doesn't need them. Amino acids are great. The benefits are that they repair tissue, assist wound healing, increase athletic performance, Amino acids are absolutely integral to life. They can be a profound impact on how we think and how we feel. And the best way to get amino acids is sprouted things, sprouted grains. The amino acids are set free and start to expand. Sprouted grains, fantastic. All the different types of sprouts that you can get. You're going to be getting the essential amino acids by blending in different sprouts. Sunflower sprouts is an excellent one. And as you start to get into the sprouts and you get into the different plants, you can get the amino acids. You can use meat, but meat should not be the big part of your meal. Meat should be the secondary part. But now we need to get our fiber and get our amino acids and help to get to complete health. Okay there? Mm. Hello? Yes, uh, Desi, that was, um, you know, short and sweet and to the point. Thanks, thanks, Ritas, as well. Um, one of the things that I'm going to be talking about is that um, if we don't breathe properly and we have too much acidosis, acid in the external part of the body and not, not enough acid inside the gut, inside the stomach, it becomes very difficult to digest protein oh, and yeah. this is this is what i'm seeing a lot of and yeah, we have to start with uh teaching people how to breathe properly mm -hmm. so uh and we talked about breath we talked about water and also uh, stretching and breathing together is very essential Can and I we're good we've made a tape on exercise as a nutrient but that's not on for tonight uh, what I want to talk about next is fatty acids, okay? But you're right. Breathing is is the basis. Uh, mm, uh, of digestion. Oh, well, of everything. Uh, and bring, everything. Breath, bringing mm. your breath into focus, you know, so that mm. you can stabilize and get the, that's where your basic energy comes from. Every minute, you use the oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. 
That's it. And oh. a lot of acidosis buildup, but I'll speak about that. Um, the okay. other thing I just wanted to say is um, also often on the quantum device, we see, um, you know, the warning, um, no more red meat because also protein has an acid element on the body, acidic effect on the body. So well, you also want to be careful. Well, this is why people need to recognize our need is not for protein, our need is for amino acids. And yeah. we could get the amino acids better from vegetables, but we have to combine them because we do not get all of the amino acids in any one vegetable. So very interesting. So God, I don't know why God did that, but he, he made it that way. <laughs> he made it so that we had to go from bush to bush. We could not stay under one tree or one bush and live. We had to, we had to, we had to walk around. We had to be, uh, we had to go and look for other vegetables. And, and in the beginning, mankind was all just completely vegetarian. Uh, mankind, it, there was no way that mankind could catch lunch. <laughs> no. So, uh, but the people now are really so into meat, and I wanted them to understand that really your best shot of getting your amino acids to get into your free amino acid pool is to get them from sprouts and get them from yeah. the grains and sprout those things and get some sprouts into your diet, some sprouted grain and some whole wheat. Uh, I mean, whole grain foods and everything. Some healthy spice on them. Yeah, and, 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 try, and, and try to get the flavor. Could be, uh, that's what people are missing. And so as they do this, they, you know, they're going to get a lot more healthy. Hmm. And, and, and uh, I'm glad you mentioned the raw form of, the, of protein because we can also bring in here things like um, spirulina. Um, you know, it was the first food that was synthesized out of the atmosphere. It's 70% dry weight protein. And if you compare that to cooked protein and the availability and everything um, and the energy that it gives you, I think that it actually starts getting absorbed, absorbed within 10 seconds and even through the mucous membrane of the mouth. So that, that, that is a great source of also complete protein, medicinal mushrooms, the reishis, the shagas, the bee pollens. They all contain, um, you know, the essential amino acids in the right format in the raw format for our bodies along with sprouts. I have another tape about the neg entropy and the life force. And the spirulina is actually a living thing, as is uh, the edible algae. So uh, those are, they're not just getting nutrients, you're actually getting life force. So it's exactly. really Now the next topic, uh, I, I, I have a tape on the spirulina, but that, now the next one we need to talk about is the fatty acids. Right, here we come. It's very, very important. The cell membrane. Is long. I'll serve him. I'll come on after. Today, no longer a man. Here's a little scene from Quigley Down Under. To survive in Australia, there's not enough fat in the animals. We need to eat some fat to live. A small amount of fat is essential to the healthy diet. It's essential because we need this fat to help us absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. So it's very important we get some fat in the diet. If you eat only rabbit, and the rabbit does not have much fat at all, you can get protein poisoning and die from eating only rabbit. You have to have some of the grubs in the wilds of Australia to live. Much obliged. Eating live animals, live plants, is important. 
Our friend Erwin Schrodinger taught us about meg entropy, the life force. There is a life force in living things that we need to survive. It's a needed nutrient. We need to get this in our foods. I don't eat things that are still moving. You gonna shoot it first? The Aborigines were giving him some of their most treasured food because we need to eat some fat to live. Now, as we study fats, we're going to find out there's unsaturated fats, saturated fats, and trans fats. The trans fats are really, really bad. Mostly synthetic fat plants made by false cooking. The unsaturated fats are good. And some of the saturated fats. And when we get to the unsaturated fats, we have monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. Now, the polyunsaturated, we can get these from fish, and very good. We get a little bit from beef, and it can be good, we have to understand. But beef is, overall has an awful lot of trans fats and not cooked well. So we can get it if we cook it properly. We have to understand essential fatty acids and non-essential fatty acids. Now, this brings us to a whole point about heroic medicine versus natural medicine. As we start to understand that heroic medicine is trying to save you from the jaws of death. And natural medicine is trying to help you to improve your lifestyle. Okay? So as we start to explore the difference of heroic medicine, allopathy, treating symptoms, and not really treating the health, more of disease care than health care, we start to see that in heroic medicine, the word essential means that without it you die. It's essential for life. Whereas in natural medicine, essential for us means necessary for health. Without it you get sick, you don't die. So we try to have a little broader understanding of what essential is. And we start to understand some of the signs. Because you can get deficient in a nutrient and it's not life-threatening. And it is health-threatening. So as we start to understand about fatty acids, we have to understand that fatty acids make up the membranes of all of our cells. Very, very important we have this. Fatty acids allow for the electroconductivity through the membranes of our cells. We have to get these fatty acids into our body. This is what makes us up. And we have to recognize the different qualities of the fatty acids. We have to recognize that omega-3 deficiency is rampant in today's society. And we need to get the proper fatty acids. But beyond just the essential, essential for health, there's all kinds of fatty acids that we find that are essential for health, not essential for life. So we have to expand our ideas. This is why I made the fatty acid liquid essence, to capture all the fatty acids needed for health. And we start to understand the quality of the fatty acids and then recognize more that the fatty acids are sources and how do we get them into our body and what is the balance of these and we are going to start to find that we need to get vegetables into our diet seed products in order to get the proper fatty acids. Here's a picture of the fatty acid liquescence I made to end all of your fatty acid deficiencies. You can get this from the Only Nature Knows website. But as we start to look at the different fatty acids and broaden our mind past the idea that essential is just to prevent death, we start to get a broader idea of all the different fatty acids and the symptoms of a fatty acid deficiency. Memory disorders, mood disorders, fatigue, dry scaly skin, heart problems. And most importantly, I have found that when you feel cold and others do not, that little chill you get. Because when you get that chill, it means your immune system is dropping. You're susceptible to colds and flu. Now, to cure fatty acids, I made this simple little guacamole. Believe me, follow this recipe and eat some of this two or three times a week, and you're not going to get problems. Make sure you get sprouted grains. They're very, very important. They have the amino acids and also some of the fatty acids. Make sure you're doing this and recognize that food is the best medicine. Get plenty of good quality food. And the Bible taught us about seeds, seeds products. 
And I made a little formula here. How to get healthy in any restaurant. Based on the olive oil. Make sure you get good quality olive oil. It helps get that fatty acid into your body. Okay? Now, we also have found a new thing about bulletproof coffee. Using butter. Using different fatty acids. The foods richest in omega-3. And make sure that you're getting most of your omega-3 from vegetables. Plants, also from fish as well, and you won't get qu good quality from the meat. Recognizing that olive oil is a very important part of your diet, and to use a little bit of olive oil on an empty stomach in the morning is a very strong thing. Just a tiny little bit helps get the uh, the absorption of your fatty acids going. So we start to recognize that fatty acids are very important. And we start to see how they help us to defend off different diseases. Making sure that we get quality of our fatty acids into our body. This is Desiree Dubonnet helping you to learn about the deficiencies of nutrients that can create disease. Open your mind, listen and learn. Hello? We are here, Desi. Thank you so much. Yeah, I should have. Uh, I, there's, there's a graphic I didn't put in there that needs to be talked about. Uh, you, we can't boil our oil. When we boil the oil, we change the fatty acids from nutrition to poison. It's a slow-acting poison, but boiled oil, when we get fried chicken, french fries, those things, it actually is a very slow poison. It sets free acrylamide. It destroys the nutritional effect. We get bad fatty acids in our body. So we need to get a cold pressed oil and get these uh, uh, vegetables into our diet and be able to make sure that our uh, digestive system is absorbing them. So fatty acids are extremely important. They make up the cell membrane of uh, all of our cells. And you don't get the healthy fatty acids from animal products you really need to have vegetables in your diet and this is so so needed especially in terms of uh, covid where we're talking yes. about viruses. and in order to defend against viruses we have to have good membranes and membranes are built on fatty acids exactly. so it's very important people learn that lesson daisy i see this every single day and um you know and the more we use the quantum devices the more we see this as well and so what we're seeing is an um a deficiency in in the, the cold pressed flaxseed oils olive oils etc and very minimal amount of oil on the mucous membranes the lungs the the gastrointestinal tract the reproductive tract and obviously the skin but we've got an oversupply and blocked lymphatic systems and and blood that's full of this floating trans fat and 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 fat that's coating our liver and our heart and i actually tell people you know this is what's killing us this heated fat is killing the human population absolutely no the truth mm -hmm. is we are processing the foods and boiling the oil and it's it's horrendous what we're doing to our bodies you know and just by getting people to get fresh and raw vegetables and or slow cooked with a you know uh um, mm. and these type of things dramatically to improve their health very quickly yeah. you know yeah but everybody has to make this choice for themselves like you cannot mm. you cannot make anybody drink if they are not thirsty you know yeah you can well, leave the water but you can't make them drink <laughs> well the thing is is that we can show them with a validated and verified device oh, yeah. their their levels and that's that's undisputed so um you know when that when when they have that in front of them and when they see the distortion on the chromosome level yeah yeah with, with the lipid and the proteins you know getting deposited um you know that's enough to make people change but and but also it's creating blood high blood pressure and cholesterol and things but i've told people get rid of the frying pan get rid of it throw it away i don't want to see frying pans and i've actually told them that if they don't meet me halfway on this issue we, we're not going to win yeah, exactly. 
You got to convert mm. your frying pan into a, 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 a wok, you know. <laughs> Water stir fry. Yeah, you stir fry, you know, just very, very simple, you know. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, because people, uh, we, we, we've just taught everybody wrong. And so you, know, you got to imagine that you're going to be dealing with, let's say, a 40 year old housewife who spent her entire wa life watching her mother cook wrong, mm -hmm. watching restaurants cook wrong. And then you come along, you say, oh, Jesus, you know, we don't want to boil these things in oil. And you say, what? Uh, we live on French fries. Well, now yep. we know French fries is one of the biggest killers of people in the world. <laughs> And then you get the Coca-Cola, and you and the, the people look at you and say, "Well, if Coca-Cola is bad for me, how come? How can, how can I go down to the store and buy it?" Well, because it's a money game. <laughs> they put the sugar in there, you know. They put the oh, it's just... it actually suffocates the body because it clogs the blood. It makes the blood thick and heavy and slow. And then per minute, you're not getting the amount of oxygen passing through the vital organs that you should. And, and I mean, that's again a, a straightforward argument. It's simple. Everyone can understand that. And you're seeing slow, I'm seeing low stroke volumes, low blood circulating back to the heart. I'm seeing the heart ventricles having to pump harder and harder. And um, I'm seeing the caking on the arteries, you know, and the elasticity of the arteries going. And the worst is this lymphatic story and the lymphatic, the buildup in the lymph nodes. And then Desi, let's just talk about this quickly because I've got two people who both had breast cancer, both had lymphatic buildup. The breasts couldn't drain, right? The, they couldn't drain because of the blockage. So the lymphatic nodes were removed. Now what's happening is the gut is filling up with lymph from the gut lymphatic cells. Two of them. Yeah. Well, uh, what happens, uh, it's a case called ascites. And they, they start to get their lymphatics draining into the gut. And yes. then from the, they're supposed to be drains down in the, down around the hip. And they, when those get clogged, uh, because of inactivity and, you know, from all the processed food, uh, Jesus, you know, we're, we're talking about people that aren't going to live very long, you know. I mean, the one had two liters removed from the gut. Right, right. Well, the solution is, you know, opening up the drain, you know, uh, that's what I, uh, I know in the case of glue ear, uh, similar topic, a different issue. But uh, my son had a case of glue ear. There was fluid inside his ear. Well, the doctor came along and said, we'll put tubes in the ear. We'll put it, we'll do a little surgery and we'll put a tube in the ear. Mm. Drain. And I said to the doctor, excuse me, if you came home tonight and your bathroom was three foot deep in water, would you put a hole in the wall? Or maybe would you just try to unclog the drain? <laughs> and he looked at me, oh, yeah, because there, there's a natural draining tube, the eustachian tube uh, in the ear, which is meant to drain out the liquid. In these people, there's a natural lymphatic drain that helps them to drain this. And that's the, that's where the clogging is, you know. So it, the, what the doctors do is they just reach in there with the, you know, with the tube and, and drain rather than getting the body to do the job. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a form of medicine that is so backwards. We have a form of of healthcare that is all just not based on logic and reason. It's you know it's like a mishmash of marketing this and marketing that. Oh, it's crazy. I you think know. it is because, you know, they remove the lymph node of the people and then they sit in my infrared sauna twice a week because they can't clear the lymph. Um, I think it's very serious. I know. I had a, I had a patient once that had a, a mass. It was a, a mass in her neck. Okay. And it was a mass in her neck and the doctor scheduled her for surgery the next day. And I took a look at it and I did, and I went, I, you could, you know, feel it inside the mouth and down into the neck. And then I massaged it. I spent a little bit of time in massaging it and I opened it up and I released and here within about 10 minutes, it was gone. The mask was gone. Because what it was, just a pocket. 
it was a pocket that wasn't draining properly. I opened it up, uh, got it to drain. It was a type of lymph, lymph node. And, you know, the doctors were amazed. And I said, well, if you pay attention, you know, most of what you're, what you're actually trying to treat is, can be handled with simple little techniques of massage. You just say, it takes a little bit extra time. But, uh, you know, I, I, anyway. Okay, my next video for today. Another Another deficiency. A big nutritional deficiency is love, respect, social contact. Because we are, we are, uh, we all of us are body, mind, and spirit, but we are also social and environmental. We are in, uh, environmental creatures, but we are also social creatures. We are meant to have families. We're meant to communicate. And the worst thing you can do to a person is put them into solitary confinement. So I made a little video because we need to teach people that this is a nutrient. So let's watch the video now. This is Professor of Medicine. This is Professor Dubonnet, the man who left America to find freedom. Who, well, no longer a man. We are body, mind, spirit, but we are also social and environmental. Today we're going to talk about the social aspect. Family, networking, love, society, connection, love, connection. The ability to be able to talk to your meaningful others. To share and care. And express ideas and get feedback. This is very important. We get Family and friends are there for you to get you some help in times of trouble. Breathe. They're there to share and care. You can lean on, count on. To try Even to, in the most crucial of situations. To try to pull you out from the hard situation. Tell him. We talk about the need for friends. Tell me what. And we need what people to be able to talk to. to oh, human, human beings are designed to socialize, to share, to care, right, to love. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. Oh. From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. You need people who can accept you. And understand you. You can accept your faults and your troubles. Take you with the good and the bad. And work with you. And we help you, this. help this you to grow. Is a nutrient. She taught me how to climb. Oh, Boris, you can do it. I showed her how to dangle. Good she helped me learn how to read. And I showed her how to swing. Years ago, over almost a 10-year period, they studied all of the deaths in California. Every type of different death, from cardiovascular to even uh, accidental dynamite. And what they found is, people who had social networks had a dramatic less chance of dying for every issue, every category of death. You see, we need social networks. We need to be able to talk to people. We need to be able to share and care. And when there's a death of a loved one, it's earth-shaking. And sometimes people then become isolated and they don't talk. And they get to have problems. And then they get disease. And they start to die. Because, see, respect is a nutrient. Love is a nutrient. Love is a nutrient. Compassion, care. Social networking. Friends. Social feedback. Family. Feedback, uh, the ability to express yourself. Constructive criticism, what can help you to grow. And negative criticism and positive criticism. All of this works together in a system that really helps us to become who we are because we need this as a nutrient. Because we have to be able to understand all these effects and the messages. It's a social networking is the essential nutrient. And the worst punishment our society can give to anybody is solitary confinement. We take you away from your social networking. That's the worst punishment we can give you. This then will you, leave scars on your soul. Then you feel abandoned, lost, lonely. Nobody.
I'm just going to try and start the video again. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to play. Let me just see. Caring each other. I got a machine. Her answer machine? No, interestingly enough, her leaf blower. I don't know what's playing. Hold on. Then we get into the horse. Let me just try and load it again. You have to stop the old old be there for each other. And sometimes, one of the things we have to learn. You have to be careful not to do anything right the way. You don't know. You never know. I'm just gonna. Lo I'm just gonna load it again, Daisy. Doesn't want to go away. Let me just try once more. Okay, yeah. So I've got to try once more. Here we go. Yeah, be careful you don't click on the screen. Yeah, I'm not. Let me just go play the video here. This is you can skip a forward. This is Professor of Medicine. I will. No longer a man. We are body, mind, spirit, mm. but we are also social. Just let's go a last time because I think I did click on the wrong thing there. This is Professor of Medicine, Desiree Dubonnet, the man who left America to find freedom. Who, well, no doesn't want to. It doesn't want to play too well. We are body, mind, spirit, but we are also social and environmental. Today we're going to talk about the social aspect, family, networking. I think Daisy, let's carry on, and I will try and play it when you yeah, finished. It, it, it just pass on the link to people and let them watch it at all. Also, yeah, it's a very good, powerful video, and it tells us something that we all need to find um, social networking. And it's not the, not the type of social networking that we get on our telephone. That just is not good enough. We need social networking. Now they did a major study in California over a 10 year period. And they studied every, every form of death from, uh, the number one, which is um, from cardiovascular problems and cancer and automobile accidents and drug related deaths and even uh, uh, accidental dynamite explosion. <laughs> Every form of death. And then they took and they and they found people who had family social networks versus people who had no family social network, meaning that their wife died, their husband died, their families were gone, they were um, ostracized, they lost you know, uh, contact. And the people who were alone had more death in every category, including accidental dynamite. <laughs> because wow. when you have a lack of social feedback, Somebody to talk to. That's what it is. When you don't have somebody to talk to at all, then you just, your world is not quite right. You don't get feedback. You don't know exactly. Um, sometimes you get crazy thinking that you don't get feedback on. Uh, you, you're unable to really release your own feelings, etc. 
So that's where people, you know, really, I find that when we are going to be doing and helping people as, with, as uh, our patients, sometimes patients are coming to us because they're all, they've lost all the other contact in their life. I've had some patients who just didn't have anybody else to talk to. And they were coming back and I said, listen, I, I cured your diseases. And they, they kept wanting to come back because it was just so nice to spend an hour with me. And you know, so I had to say, okay, well, I'll take your money. <laughs> Look, yeah. and I think this lockdown hasn't helped at all. I know. This no. lot of that the, the kids aren't getting, you know, imagine if you were, you know, at the beginning of this lockdown, if you were five years old and you've lost, you know, the, some of the best young years of your life, seven, eight, nine, whatever, and you lost that, you don't have contact and you're having to see people on Zoom. Yeah. You know, and your telephone becomes like your, your meaningful other, you know, and, and when we're having a, the, the Facebook connection, the social media connection, we most of the time don't see the face. If we're texting, we don't even hear the voice. We have no idea of the subtleties of the communication. And then you ask a question, and if the person doesn't like that question, he doesn't answer. If you're face-to-face -face communication and I say, uh, you know, like, what happened to you when you were in grade school? Well, you, you feel compelled to answer. You say, oh, you give an answer. But on social media, you don't have to. You see, you just, you just ignore it. You just send a, send a smiley, send a, st a sticker. <laughs> Proper communication is not so required on social media than elsewhere normally. So people are just not getting the nutrient that they need. And socialization, networking, daily contact and communication is a great networking, I mean, a great nutrient because it gives you feedback, it gives you motivation. This is what, even, one of the things we need as human beings. It's a big effect for the brain, for the, for the yeah. intellectual nutrition is very important to keep the mind going and be up to date. I have another video about uh, the intellect as a nutrient. So I, I, and I'm just about done. Next week I'm doing one on uh, the, the trace mineral. And we are also going Exciting to, work on trace minerals. And we are also going to do one on sexuality and bonding and hormones. Sunshine is a nutrient. Definitely. Cosmic Cosmic microwave radiation is a nutrient. So I'm just about done, but I've made now I think it's 20, 20 some things about nutrition. Then we're also going to do one uh, as integrity and discipline is a nutri nutrient. That's true. Adhering to your words. Uh, honor is a nutrient. And honor should be its own reward. You shouldn't have to do honor. And I think that if we mention these, then words are nutrient because everything what we say has a big power and can affect the mind and our entire lives. I want to get all of our practitioners using our devices, etc., to get, get through this nutrition course so that they start to understand the subtleties. Because one nutrient missing and your brain can go into crave mode and, and then it starts to eat. It starts to eat this and there's no nutrient there. There's, you know, mm -hmm. you try the ice cream, there's no nutrient. Then you go to the potato chips, there's no nutrient. You know, so people, we all have to, because one of the things we're doing is biofeedback. We all want to be able to help people with their nutrition. We all want to help give them advice on, on diet. Mm -hmm. I think that I, I, I came up with this idea to make this very thorough course that would be a series. Right now, it's about 25 videos. It probably won't be too many more. And each video is somewhere eight, nine, ten minutes long. So you're talking about Love you. two hours or something to get through the whole thing. And then people would have a much better idea mm -hmm. because Say air, like you were saying, air is a dramatic nutrient. But Desi, there's something else, and I mean, I had a little boy here today, 
and um, he's just getting larger and larger. So his mom brought him and he's forever hungry. And he, he also, they haven't had play dates. They haven't been socializing like we've just spoken about. But more to the point, he's riddled with parasites and fungi and, and, and bacteria and things and amoeba. And these organisms are just eating everything he eats. So yeah. it's in, and also an insatiable appetite that he has. And it's driving him crazy. Well, he doesn't get the nutrients. So he's, no, he's not. Is he's going to be hungry. And then that's what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah. Even if you're eating properly, we've got to detox and make sure we don't have these little creatures in us that are eating our GABA and eating our serotonin and giving us, a, he has like a black depression. And this is literally because of the organisms, the consciousness of them and the fact that they're eating all these vital nutrients. We need the bowel flora. We need to have organisms to live. If we don't have the, the, the bowel flora, we can't live. What you're talking about, rather than saying that these organisms are eating, that, that's true. But we have to be able to say we got to have the good, more good organisms. <laughs> and, and, the bad, bad ones. and the bad eating habits, like where you don't get any fiber, you don't get vitamins, you don't get minerals, amino acids that can completely destroy the bowel flora and the connection between the gut and the brain mm -hmm. so the neurotransmitters cannot flow to your head and, mm -hmm. uh, and the whole connection is, is uh, destroyed because of a bad habit. Well, people get so afraid of bacteria that they started to overcook all their foods. And so the live, all the living flora is all gone from the, from so the food. All the, living, all the living life force was then cooked out of the foods. So then, you know, the body has to try to compensate. So we have to recognize that our we are we need to be in harmony with our microbe flora. Mm -hmm. And there are certain people who need worms in their body to help their bodies to uh, fight allergies. So some, there there are some patients that can improve their allergies by getting roundworms. It, it's true, but for what you're talking about. Uh, you're talking about a, uh, a, a person whose bowel floor is upset. This is going to lead into depression, lead into a, ho a host of other health problems. And getting the bowel floor to be correct is a tricky one. I've made a bunch of videos on that. Uh, we'll be talking more about that in the future. And but I'm going to leave you. We're going to sign off here in a few minutes. So. What, what I would like to also add to something that many people are studying to habit eating and emotion eating and what we have to teach ourselves that the body is a temple and we need nutritious, healthy, good food filled with life force and life energy. And it should not be about how pretty the label is, how how cute the candy is or what mm -hmm. we are emotionally needing uh, because of an emotional instinct. We have to teach our body and our our selections to become more aware and healthy. We need to uh, eat for nutrition, not for stimulation. Exactly. So the cup of live coffee. Live to eat. Eat to live, not live to eat. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, what happens is the cup of coffee is a stimulant. It's not a nutrient. And the sugar is a very bad stimulant. And it, it's a stimulant. It's not a nutrient. And it creates a big craving, as Desiree showed in one of her videos, that it can become like a sugar bacteria, like a sugar addiction, and it takes over the brain. And then everywhere you go, anywhere you are, you are going to choose the same unhealthy food because mm -hmm. it takes over the gut and the thinking and the flow above flora. I have a couple of videos where Jimmy Kimmel the American comedian at Halloween, they, they take a couple of kids and the parents will say, Oh, we lost all your Halloween candy. And the kids go freaky. The kids cry, you know, and in my video, I put down uh, people who are on drug uh, detox, you know, uh, and how they act. And the kids are acting worse. The kids are smashing <laughs> themselves on the floor. They want to beat the parents and they, they rip their hair out. Yeah, they, because they, they they lost their Halloween candy. And they don't so, get their, their sugar adrenaline, so they become completely freaky about it. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we, we have made a, a topsy-turvy world. And 90% of what we do as therapists is to try to provide some education. 
Now that's why I made these videos for them to take home. That's lovely. Yeah. So, so, so there's the the immune license therapist diploma, which is the hundred hour course, and then are you saying you're going to load up the nutrition course, Desi? Yeah, this new the, the nutrition course I'm uh, I'm finishing, and it's going to be put into the machine. You'll be able to access these courses inside the machine in the near future. In the yeah. machines. Okay, fine. Perfect. That's yeah. awesome. So the, yeah. the new devices will have courses in inside them. Oh yeah. You'll be able to link that's in. That's amazing. And mm, then, that's uh, great. And how to how to send these videos home with your patients, etc. Because the, the people need to know more about these things. Because you know, yeah. you grow up today mm -hmm. that you think that uh, you know McDonald's is a full meal. You know? I think that that's a full meal with French fries, hamburger, and a Coke, and that's a that that's supposed to be nutrition. Eating and lifestyle should be already taught in high school and primary school, I think, because it can create a human being's life. So that person becomes, according to health, mind, body, spirit, thinking. Mm -hmm. We become what we eat. It is a very true quote, I guess. It's true. And they've also shown that even criminals that commit bad crimes and that are, are really deficient in certain minerals as well. So I'm sure we'll talk about that next week. Under yeah. trace minerals and copper and boron and those kind of ones there. It's not good to be low in those either. And and their their ability to tolerate sugar and everything. Because it's very, very crazy. If, if you don't get good food, then you cannot think right. You can there is a, a so-called sentence like the gut feeling and those people for example who eat healthy they have very correct gut feelings precognition yeah. even their dreams are very reliable because they are healthy and if somebody doesn't have that then it is a completely disorderous thinking and selection of uh, of uh, of actions yeah well. we have to re-educate people and it's not easy yeah that's true and that's they, absolutely true you know, people, uh, they they get a, a mental addiction to certain foods that they want. They want their French fries. And, and studies also know. put that some of the mental diseases like uh, schizophrenia and dementia and everything comes also from deficient of nutrition and lack of good food. Everything. All of it. Don't, don't get what to proper nutrition. You got it. The whole, all the disease, all the world of disease. And the Alzheimer's yeah. disease and Parkinson's is also uh, strengthened up by sugar and uh, and uh, also one-sided food, like foods boiled in oil. Also. Yeah, crazy. So we have to try to educate people, and I'm putting these things into the machine, and so that people can get a better idea how to try mm -hmm. to educate people and desi and i are working on a fantastic and fabulous cooking video we are going to show how to prepare certain foods at home which is which are very easy very very delicious high in nutrition and fiber and uh, fun to make at home now under lockdown <laughs> yeah <laughs> while we're here in fact there are we're, we're all getting hungry as well i think we all want to go eat so <laughs> but i mean as usual daisy it's been an absolute feast um from you and rita so far i've i've got some more information on on nutrition and and stress and pain and oxygen levels so i'm gonna go into that and then we'll we'll meet next week same time and we look forward to to trace minerals and thank you so much both of you for your beautiful time and it's been always an honor to have you with us and to be part of the, you know the new paradigm really if you have questions send them to us we'll get to it we look forward to get back to you okay bye bye okay, okay bye guys bye all right, so let's let's move on to one of the areas which is completely linked to all of this, and that is what I'm seeing so often, so often on a day-to-day -day basis that I thought I'm going to talk about it, and I'm just going to go to the slides to get there. <coughs> I won't keep you for long. Um, here is our new series. I'm so excited about our new series, and I hope you are as well. And please invite people to come and join and encourage them because it's – it's just the leading edge that you're going to get. So we're talking about nutrition, stress, oxygen levels, and pain levels. 
And let's just see um, one of the most important things as as practitioners and also as patients is, is, is what I'm experiencing a symptom or is it the root cause of what I'm experiencing? Because if the lymph nodes are blocked or the thyroid's not operating too, uh, it's operating too highly or too low or the circulation's too slow, is that a symptom or is it actually the cause of the disease? Okay, and this is the most important thing because we don't want to do what the old paradigm medical people are doing, run and, and address the, cause, the symptoms. So, you know, the root causes of disease are definitely toxicity and nutrition. So if we can get that right, we can then build a beautiful immune system, build our genetics. So always consider, is it actually a symptom or is it a cause? Thyroid, um, poor digestion, acidosis, circulation, and I'm going to show you the slides in the moment, are actually symptoms. They're not the root causes. So here you will see is what you're feeling and what is that underlying cause. And then we can get proper, proper solutions. So we've touched on a lot of this and we're building up our whole, our whole database really on um, all kinds of nutrition. And from different electron forms to, to life force. And you can see, we talked last week about consciousness, God consciousness, and cosmic microwave radiation, which Desi touched on today. Sunlight, air, oxygen specifically, water as a nutrient, a carrier as well as a, um, a solvent for toxins, the earth electrons that we get when we touch the ground, sound and our electroceuticals, when you're in nature, the nature elements will feed you. The plant, the photosynthesis that they um, undergo, entrapped sunlight, animal kingdom, the relationships we talked about. I will try and show that video just now. Um, your vocation, your job, your job needs to feed you. It can't be a job or an occupation. And we need to work on a vocation right now where you're marrying the two. And many people are, are being shifted out of their current employment occupations and the soul in many instances is doing this because it's saying to you this is you're not serving your purpose and sometimes it's hard but when you do turn that corner and you close that one gate and open up the next one you actually see a massive opportunity for yourself it's very hard at the time because we can't see past it but by doing that we're actually moving ourselves into a much higher space and we're looking at a vocation and then also creativity, we talked a bit about that, um, doing things you love, you like, joyful, being with people. Also our brain stimulation, coming in and, and enjoying um, webinars of this nature, it gives us lots of food for thought and that stimulates the brain cells, it stimulates the neuro neurological, the emotional and the spiritual. And then sleep as well, sleep is a nourishment because when we sleep, of course, that's when we regenerate the nervous system and so on. So uh, just nutrition is, 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 is really, really critical. And um, you see there, our food is our medicine. Our medicine is our food. And, and just to tell you, Desi and me don't prepare our work together. This happens. <laughs> so anyway, and then deficiency, she started talking about proteins being rather the amino acids. There's another, there's another, um, another nutrient here, the long chain sugars. And just to explain to you, the long chain sugars are found in things like spirulina, like the uh, medicinal mushrooms, reishi, shaga, lion's mane, cordyceps, like the bee pollen. They're not sweet. It's a long chain sugar, right? A polysaccharide. And they are necessary for brain development. When they say sugar is important for the brain, they don't mean glucose. They don't mean a short chain sweet sugar. They mean the long chain non-sweet sugars vital critical to anyone with concentration uh, brain fog attention deficit and you get it from those foods specifically so we've got to get the long chain sugars which you get from these these beautiful foods the minerals trace minerals we'll talk about that next week our vitamins which are basically enzymes anyway and enzymes are very very important for our, our pathways to produce our energy 
and um, many, many of the metabolic pathways as well. The phytonutrients see that as antioxidants um, come from the sun, phytonutrients. They're going to have um, a massive effect on removing the free radicals. So <laughs> all that heated oil and the smoking and the environmental toxins, we need the phytonutrients to do that. And then oxygen, the last one, is we need oxidants because oxidants are the greatest scavengers. Um, they're highly corrosive and they will go about and they will pull off all the free radicals off the heated oil, off, off the nicotine, off the heavy metal, the parasites. They're, they're actually, they pull the electron cap right off. So um, very important that we have all of these in our diet to um, ward off infections, but to maintain homeostasis. And this is the most important thing. Let's have a look at stress. And what stress does, because stress is not a nutrient. It will be a nutrient when you, as so far as you stress is concerned, to get up in the morning and, and get going. Some people thrive on that. But every everything is a bell-shaped curve. And too much stress is going to cause damage and, and, and free radicals. So let's see. Caused by many things, lockdown, financial, your, your job, your relationships, parents, children, spouses, studies not going well, the pain, I'll get to that, um, and emotions and things. So let's just move along. So we need to follow the Nelson healing methodology, which is to, to, to remove the cause. And um, on our devices, you've got the Sele, who, who basically spoke about um, anything that causes a stress and damages the homeostasis, the harmony of the body is a stress, a stress or a stressor. So um, it can be the wrong kind of food. In other words, a heated trance oil will cause stress on the body. Um, you even get leukocytosis where many, where cooked food will cause a reaction from the white blood cells. And instead of building the immune system and doing what it needs to do, warding off infections and stuff, it actually fights the food It's because the food's cooked. So we need to just be aware of all these, all these aspects that are leading to, to, to causing stresses in the body. It's the number one cause of illness. I would say 99% actually of the time there's a stress aspect. And stress results in poor and shallow breathing. We talked about the breath and oxygen. It makes you not relax, muscle tension, aches and pains. It uh, causes a huge release of stress hormones, the adrenalines, the cortisols of the world, and results in overstimulation of the nervous system. And all of the, all of these cortisols and, and, and adrenalines and things are hitting on the cell 24-7, reducing the immune system, making the body really tired, chronic fatigue, adrenals. And then we get this disease cascade where you start seeing poor and inefficient digestion, blood sugar problems, blood circulation problems, and heart, heart having to push harder, bone and sore bones, and osteo and rheumatoid arthritis, neurological and sensory disturbances, hormonal disturbances, metabolic shutdown, acidosis, pain and inflammation. Right? These are all symptoms, all right? They're symptoms. We need to start, we need to now get to the, get to the causes of this. Some of the, the, the causes can be toxicity, parasites, medicines without life force in them. And as I've said before, being in the wrong job, the wrong, not enough social interaction, eating the wrong foods, living on a treadmill, not sleeping, and all those markers that we spoke about. So I'm just extrapolating oxygen out of this. We talked a lot about this, and we really can't speak enough about it. I, I see too many people walking around in a hypoxic state right now, and that really troubles me because we are going to get a shutdown. The, the cell will then stop taking in food and oxygen and will stop releasing waste, and it's just going to swell. So there's many ways to do the breathing. We can do the breathing apps. We can set our phone to the alarms every hour to go off to do breathing. We can do alternative nostril breathing, the Wim Hof methods. We've done them over and over and again in our lectures. We can look at magnesium dioxide, which is, is cell oxygen. We have it in capsules, the 365 Healthy by Choice range. 
and uh, you know I've got many people who are, are on the, those those capsules, and it's wonderful. The magnesium balances and relaxes everybody, and the oxygen goes and gets work. It's a scavenger, and it cleans the body. And the sleep improves, and all sorts of wonderful things start happening. Right, and then we've got the hydrogen peroxide, where also the oxygen splits off and um, oxygenates the area. And remember that um, that will clean toxins and and parasites and, and anaerobic organisms cannot live. Then we've got oxygen activation in the body, and enzymes will do this. Enzymes are um, found in in fruit mainly raw fruit the minute you cook it it's it's there's no more enzymes the minute you heat an oil the cold pressed oils there's no more enzymes left so the raw foods have got our enzymes in them and um especially the foods containing vitamin b because vitamin b's are also very highly um associated with bringing in oxygen into the body so there's b15 there's um, pan, the panganic acid and, and things like that b5 b3 all very very important and they're important for our digestion and metabolism at the same time we also get the the lipase the um, proteases the lactases those enzymes for digesting our food and very important to, to, for protein digestion, especially if there's protein buildup in the blood. And we then get also superfoods that naturally carry enzymes like bee pollen and raw jelly. And they just are superfoods. And you'll see often um, the, the quantum devices re require us to give bee pollen or raw jelly to people to recommend it. So you're getting enzymes there and a whole lot of other nutrients, complete proteins too. We also get herbs. We get an oxystem, which is is um, the nature knows best one, and uh, 365. I've got a super cell oxygen, and here here we're dealing with wonderful herbs like Siberian ginseng, the bee pollen, the cordyceps, the turmeric, um, and those kind of um, herbs that are will, will stimulate oxygen in the body and also products like a trifola that's got the three fruit enzymes in it will also stimulate and activate oxygen in the body so nature has it all for us actually we just have to we just have to consume raw foods and wisely and there's another product there msm and i draw your attention to that because when the spirulina was synthesized out of the atmosphere the, the nitrogen in the atmosphere, it then started producing oxygen on the planet. And one of the uh, metabolic um, products is MSM, which then filtered up to the clouds and came down in the precipitation. So MSM is a totally natural organic substance that's necessary for us. And too many of us are very low in, in sulfur. So MSM is very important for detox and it brings oxygen into the body too. And then we have, um, yeah, so if we don't have enough oxygen, the cell vitality membrane potential is too low. And also we can talk about ozone, which is O3, and it's quite a dangerous molecule. It's two point, about 2.5 volts. It's, it's really, really high, and it actually blankets, it crosses every single cell, not only the, the, um, the wrongly charged toxic matter. So just be aware of that. Hyperbaric chambers as well. I think we need to move more towards sustainable high oxygen levels in the body, which is our breathing, the food we can consume, and we can we can do a detox to get rid of the the toxins and the parasites and things that are actually absorbing our oxygen molecules, as opposed to allowing the oxygen to what do what it needs to do to detox our bodies. So we have three minutes to take our next breath or we'll die when we breathe in roughly three minutes. And the reason for that is, is that there's no toxic breakdown. We build, build the barrel of toxins fills up within three minutes. So we, we, we're not dying because we haven't taken a breath in. We're dying because there's not enough oxygen left. You've got to just know that. And um, I now want to talk a little bit about chlorine dioxide. <laughs> I've got a dog that's barking. 
Um, let me just see what the next slide is looking like. Oh, that's about pain. All right, chlorine dioxide is a very, very, very special molecule as well. And when the oxygen splits off inside the body as a gas, it literally steam cleans and it only goes for the wrongly charged matter. Its charge is 0.9 of a volt. It's minute. And in fact, that is less than normal oxygen when we breathe. Uh, when we breathe, that voltage of that oxygen is 1.3 volts. So this chlorine dioxide molecule is 0.9 of a volt. It's even less. It's even more gentle than normal oxygen, just to tell you. So as Daisy said as well, we need to be careful of the oxygen molecule. We need to be careful of the voltage of it. And that's the one that I prefer mostly. Uh, I, pre I like the cell oxygen capsule in, the, in the, the, the powdered form, and I like the chlorine dioxide the most. And that's why we get very, very, very powerful improvements and very quickly. Anyone want more information on that? I'm happy to share with you. All right, so it's an oxygen is a scavenger. It's got two free ones, and it's got to fill. It will fill those far, far more readily than any any free radical in the body. It will just scavenge. So now let's talk about the pain that results. So people are walking in stressed, low oxygen, and pain. They're feeling pain in the bones, in the muscles, in the nervous system, <laughs> in the heart. In the brain, wherever it is, and we need to understand that pain is an indication of a resistance on some level, okay? And it's a signal we need to listen to it. We can't just dumb it down. We can't just go, go to the local supermarket or, or um, pharmacy and get a, a painkiller. What are you doing? You're just dumbing it. You just, it's just going to manifest in a worse situation. So um, often we find also people who are recovering from sport injuries and accidents and things that took um, painkillers, anti-inflammatories that have caked around that area. They need to detox that area because the pain can actually get quite bad just from the toxicity. So underneath this pain, we must always understand that there's an inner pain and an outer pain. And what we experience is the outer pain. We did talk about this before, but physical pain can be through accidents and through through toxicity in the body. Um, neurological um, pain can be brought about by constant rationalizing, worrying, anxiety. Um, also through the, the emotions, the body speaks the mind, and that's so true. So wherever there's pain, we must know that there's a neurological, emotional, spiritual aspect to it. And try and work it out through our own meditation, through our own inner connection with our primary creator and the God consciousness, if you like. That's where our answers are. They're not, they don't lie in a bottle of painkillers. They don't, they don't lie in um, asking our friends. We need to get inside ourselves and understand the inner pain. Nobody can experience that for us. Um, they can offer suggestions, but they can't really go there. And the more fear, the more tension, the more pain, the more muscle spasm. So the spiritual we've talked about as well from a, a purpose point of view and, and our vocation. So then I wrote there that um, tension and stress, muscle tension, spasms, nerve pain, connecting the brain to the muscle, all right? So the brain will register fear or uh, stress and it will connect to the muscles, causing spasms, limiting blood flow, reduced amount of oxygen, and we, the resulting effect is pain. So this resistance needs to be dealt with and understood. Um, and I put there from Carl Jung, what you resist persists. And this is seriously what happens. And the pain, the pain and the degeneration just get worse and worse and worse. So for example, I just highlighted an example here. If you strain your back from lifting something heavy, and many of you have done this, and many of you have many patients who come in and tell you this. Beneath the strain may be layers of resentment that no one is helping you. You've always had to do things yourself to get things done. And this is classic. This is exactly what happened with a, one of my clients that came in with, with back pain. She'd helped her daughter move, okay? And it actually got so bad she even has cancer. But anyway, and uh, she told me that she was helping her daughter move. And I said to her, what were you thinking when you were doing that, when you were going up and down those stairs? 
and she was she was had resentment she actually did have resentment because the daughter was fighting with the new husband and she was resenting the fact that the daughter had to leave the house and that she was having to lift the boxes no one was helping her etc etc so this is classic this is a classic situation just to share with you and beneath this resentment all right maybe a sense of emotional loneliness could be longing for attention and care fear of the future or perhaps your inner child trying to prove prove how capable you are to parents who are not paying attention so this is an example and it's easy to blame the accident for the pain or facing or facing the inner pain is more demanding so we know that so it's it's all linked so we need to find the inner pain and this will go a long way to releasing the physical pain so one way to to um, get to this resistance and to to start surrendering is through meditation and the the key here actually is acceptance and surrender and we find that deep breathing helps us because deep breathing and breathing in and long out getting the carbon dioxide out will alkalinize us when we're in an alkalinized alkalinized state we are able to cope we are able to also breathe properly digest properly and live properly and we're able to then connect with our consciousness far better all right think clearly and live productively so i've got a nice picture here we're all getting really hungry i'm getting really hungry and there's all the colors of the rainbow beautiful beautiful for the eyes as well all the phytonutrients oh here are some 365 products that are put out for for those of you who, who are keen regarding reducing stress because we can use what nature's put in front of us so we have stress defense shields and brain fuels and extreme performance boosts all of them have more than 30 very high vibrational full of life force um, nutrients uh, full of protein building blocks, full of the long chain sugars, minerals, vitamins, phytonutrients, everything we need for a complete body that's in harmony and homeostasis. So that's what I consume every day. And I don't want to take any chances. I don't, I don't want to miss. So that's what I do. I, I like these smoothies every day um, to, sorry, to, to make sure I'm getting everything in. And I add my flaxseed oil and berries and nuts and seeds and things so that's one way of doing it and i just put in here i just will show you some of these beautiful nutrients that are inside absolutely wonderful they're all working harmoniously some are detoxing some are supporting us um, on all those levels supporting the brain functioning the emotional the spiritual and the physical And here's some more. The Ormus Gold is one of the most calming um, alchemical elixirs on the planet as far as I'm concerned. It crosses the blood-brain bar barrier immediately. It starts cleaning the toxicity. It starts bringing in the alkalinity. alkalinity. When we do that, we have that sense of calmness and we can think clearly and live productively. And this product was used by the ancient wise sages of the world. Okay, they wanted the white gold powder and this is the white gold solution and we've got the stress defense shield some adaptogens the rhodiolas ashwagandhas shizandra berries um, ash, um siberian ginsengs the astragalus we've got the cell oxygen i spoke about magnesium dioxide and then the super cell oxygen herbal products it will stimulate and activate oxygen and we've also got the rna dna the nuclear proteins necessary to reduce the stress on the dna replication and male and female hormones and liver cleansers um, i spoke about this earlier in the week very important because the whole cascade needs to work we can't run and look at symptoms either so we do need to have a look at the liver and the blood and the the, the hypothalamus pineal pituitary to make sure there's no blockages. <clears throat> That's completely clean and the nutrients are there to produce all the hormones and support the nervous system. Then that cascade, you will not have a thyroid problem, a glucose problem, a liver problem, a digestive problem, an adrenal problem and so on. 
all right, and it's estrogen and progesterone problem. Those are straightforward symptoms. So we need to get back to, to root causes, most important. All right, that's why those are there, because they do that. This supports the brain and the hypothalamus and all the building blocks. Included with this is the liver and some brain fuel boxes. And then, of course, there's our specific flaxseed oil. They're all with the highest life force. So this is neg entropy. We are eating life force. We are eating God consciousness. You heat the foods, it's gone. The DNA is interfered with, so is the protein. And here's another, oh, sorry. Here's another stress adaptogen, Makuna bean. Absolutely fundamentally amazing for the nervous system. It's an adaptogenic herb and for, for calming us for libido, for breastfeeding, for muscle building, nervous system. And there's our chlorine dioxide, the oxymineral drops, all available online. And I want to remind everybody about our immune university license diploma course. It's 100 hours and uh, it's online at 600 euros. Mentorship together with it because you need a mentor is 350 euros. And then the nice thing is, is that um, there are 37 lectures. It's online. It's divine. It's beautiful. It's life transforming. And then you can continue with the lectures and actually get your doctorate. You can get your um, naturopathy doctorate, your homeopathy doctorate, and a whole lot of wonderful things that are there available. So it, it doesn't just end there, which is just beautiful. It's the starting block, but plus you get your license. And here are the beautiful devices for those of you who are new. Um, we've got the QUEX ED and the QUEX S. Now the the S is the is the um, the less expensive, the seven thousand five hundred euros. But don't be fooled here because there's very very limited software. And by the time you bought all the software, you've actually paid more than twenty one thousand five hundred euros. So it's a bit of a smokescreen. Um, this is the best to get is to get the QUEXED and it's 21,500 euros but Desi has a special on right now for us a 777 seven euro down payment and you pay the rest over three years it's about a one percent per, per month interest and you get it and you get all the software you get all these beautiful programs the upgrade that's coming now is going to have all these, all the software and all these nutritional programs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, built into it. Okay, so it's not going to be online. Um, she's not loading them there. She is loading stuff, but the new and latest will be into the device, which will be amazing. So you can get you can get all of these on the 365 Healthy by Choice website. Via me, we can organize um, your course and we can organize your device, which is fantastic. And then um, before I go to the questions, I just want to talk about tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, every Thursday, I have a live show where we have doctors and pharmacists and physios and clients coming and talking about live case studies from blood pressure to blood sugar, arthritis, bones, fibromyalgia, um, pathogens, parasites, heavy metals, weight, whatever it might be. And these are all our case studies. Um, every single client that comes in is a case study. And so we're wanting to share this. And you're all more than welcome. It's complimentary to come in and, and listen and learn and share yourselves as well. If you've got great case studies, please let's hear about them as well. Because quantum medicine is the miracle medicine. Quantum food state, nutrients, and our devices. It's an it's a it's a no brainer, and there's nothing to compare, nothing to compete um, with what we have right now. How can anyone say that every everyone is a case study? Because that's that's what we're having. Because we are using um, the best that's available on the planet right now, far greater than any human brain can do. We're not second guessing nature. We're not second guessing the body. We're using everything as nature intended. Nature made as nature intended, and we're using the subconscious to feed information onto the world's largest software platform, which is what we have. There's no doubt about it. 
11,000 frequencies are assessed and then the matrix of choice of what um, herbal or Bach flower remedy, emotional neurological solutions are all ticked as well. And they're all in a very, very, very special um, tri-vector um, shape that's um, completely geared towards um, restoring the homeostasis in the body, physical, emotional, neurological, and spiritual. All right, and we have the tri-vector for that. So I do invite you to come next tomorrow and join us same time. And there's a different uh, link. Go to my website, please, and you'll find on the 365 Healthy by Choice website. And any of you who are missing any of these videos that we did last year's ones um, on the 360, on, on the Jane McKenzie YouTube, you'll find a lot of them there. All right. So any of you feel that you didn't get them or missed out, a lot of them are there too. So more and more as we get into the space, um, and I think, yeah, that's that's what we, we're wanting to give you, short short and sharp bursts of point you in the right direction, go and do your research, sign up for the course. Those of you who don't want to do the course, there's an iFlix joining fee. I think you pay $13 or $14 a month, and you have access to the entire courses, all of them. You just don't get a the licensed diploma or a mentor until you sign up, but you can go and look at all the courses. They're all there. So speak to me about that as well, and I'll help you get in, in and join there too. No excuses. I hope you've loved this evening. I've loved being with you all and, and preparing. And, um, yeah, until next week, let's, um, let's all have a nourishing time, okay, and be very aware and present. And, and help those that are around us because we can. We can really get into their shoes and, you know, understand what's going on as compassionate healers and, and so forth. Thanks for coming in, guys. All the very best. See you next week for more. All right, and invite your friends. The more we can spread, the more we can educate, the better. Invite your clients. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Let's see what someone's just. To, oh, oh, you know what I wanted to do? Let me just try and play that last video. I don't know what was up with that video. Let's just see because the others played beautifully. This is Professor of Medicine, Desiree Dubonnet, the man who left America to find freedom. Sometimes they get stuck. This is a stuck one. So anyway, I did post the, the video link and I will post it all on, on, on the Facebooks and, and also in our groups. Okay, so I don't know what happened with that one. It didn't want to work. Love, connection. Love, connection. Right, guys. All the best. Bye. Thank you all.